Well, my name is Carrie Hutchins, and I was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and grew up in Sparta. Um, with my family, I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, um, basically when I was a little tiny baby, and I was sick more when I was younger, and then more and more as I got older, being in the hospital and um, for lung infections and different things. And um, But generally lived kind of a somewhat normal life, and my family was supportive and took me to all my do doctor appointments and everything else. But um, as the cystic fibrosis does to everybody, um, I am now very sick after having um, I have two children, which when I was um, when I was young and my parents had, had me, I'm sure they never guessed I would even have children, um, that I would even live to be old enough to have children. But I have two wonderful boys. Um, one is four years old and one is 13 years old. And um, that inspired me as I struggle against this disease and to the point of needing organ transplant for my lungs, so needing two new lungs. And um, so I've got to that point of knowing that without that, then I probably wouldn't see them grow up, especially, especially my younger one um, after I had him and was thinking about organ transplant. I thought, you know, I looked in that little face and I thought, how could I um, not do all I can to live to see him grow up? And um, the only real way for me to do that is through um, the miracle of organ transplant. And um, so that's where I am today, and I'm waiting in a hospital now. I've waited for two years, and uh, well, like nine months, but who's counting? I probably could tell you the number of days and stuff. I can't get that sometimes, but not today. But um, but I've waited in the hospital for exactly 70 days because I've gotten too sick to be at home and I have to be on a ventilator 24 hours a day so I can't breathe on my own. Um, so I have to be here until I get I would my like to say to those of you at Gift of Life, um, that are working hard, that whose lives and work is to give people more days of, of their life and to give them life beyond what my body as, as it would be, would be able to have. Um, and <laughs> I can't say enough really about how humbled I am that that other people who've never known me and don't have any I mean really way of you know being involved in my life other than you know just that you have passion for um, organ don organ donation and transplant and you know it's really humbling and honoring that you would work hard and come to work every day and um, go through probably a lot of ups and downs with it and frustrations or, you know, of uh, when things don't work out or whatever. Or, and I just, yeah, I, it's really, it takes a village, you know, to, and my, I just think of my sons and that your your work is you know giving them a, more of their mom and my husband um, more of a wife and, um, and without that you know I would just be uh, waiting to you know waiting to die not waiting to live so I just, I thank you, and uh, someday you'll get uh, even 
some better pep talk or crown than what I can do because it really, I thank you, that makes a huge difference. Um, I don't think you probably hear that enough or see it enough.